Look at her. Hey Battles, so today I want to come to you guys because I got so many emails <laughs> wanting and asking for me to tell them all the stuff that I had purchased for me to be able to be settled here in Ghana. I got some messages in the comments as well. So I said, let me go ahead and do that so I can alleviate always replying because I do reply to all my emails and I do reply to all of my comments if they require replying. So for those who don't know me, my name is Miss Bohemian Goddess and I have been documenting my journey from Dallas, Texas, all the way here to Accra, Ghana. And now that I'm here, I am showing everyone all the things that I have done and enjoying myself here in Ghana. So if this is something you're interested in, please go ahead and like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So let's get started on the things that you would need to be able to properly get settled here in Ghana. Hey Battles, and we're back. So let's start with the most important thing I think you can possibly need, and that is a charger you're going to need a portable charger. And um, I have a few things that I can show you, okay? But I'm also gonna be able to put up pictures right here where you can see what they look like, okay? So I am suggesting that you get a portable charger. Whether you have an iPhone or you're an Android user, you're definitely gonna need a charger because once you step out of your house, it's going to be very hard for you to be able to charge your phone or any devices that you may have. So you definitely want to get a portable charger. I feel like that is the most important thing that you need here in Ghana. Along with that, you will have the multiple charging station that will be able to charge multiple charging um, portable chargers. So... I bought four portable chargers and let me show you. So these are the portable chargers. They take just like this. And this is for iPhones, okay? I bought four of these. So I'm gonna show you this one and then I'm gonna show you this one, okay? Now they come with the cover on it. So this one I just finished using. So you basically charge it and then you can put your phone on here. It also takes the C port as well. So it comes with both, so you can just carry it like this as well, okay? So this is what it is. So this is your portable charger. And along with it, it's separate. I purchased the docking station, so it holds um, four of these. So that's what it does. It houses about four of them. So what you would do is you would just put it on here, just like this, and you can charge all of them all at the same time. So that's what I did. Let me put this on so you can see. like that. So whenever you see you walking out the door, you just grab one, pop one out and throw it in your bag or for guys, just throw it in your pocket because it's so small. It's very, very small. Um, let me see if I can show you the size of it in my hand. It's very small. Okay. So I purchased four of these. Um, I can't find the other one because I know one of these I packed up somewhere. So it's probably packed up because I didn't unpack a lot of things because I knew what was inside of it, but I only found three. So these are the chargers, the portable charger, and this is the charging station. So these two combined, I think is something that will be very useful for you here in Ghana or anywhere, even if you're in the United States, you can still use this when you're going outside, you know, and you're going to a festival or, you know, um, just anywhere, okay? So this is something that I feel is very, very important to purchase. So we got the portable charger and you got the docking station. Now, what a lot of people um, also would need would be a converter, okay? So the converter, you have different ones, and I'm gonna show you the one that I do have, but I didn't unpack it because I don't need it. So, but this is the one I've been using, and you can also find this on Amazon. Now, this one here um, is a multi-socket, so it takes here, Ghana support, as well as US port. It also has the USB port there as well. So I purchased this and I just stick it in the wall. See the three prongs? I just stick it in the wall and now I can have multiple use. My phone uh, cord would go here and then this here, it would be for my light. 
because that's what I do. I have my lamp, my lamp on this one, and in this one I have a charger for my iPad. So that's what you can use this for. So this one here would be your converter, and it actually works perfect. I also have um, three of these, so I have it for each room as well as in my kitchen because I plug in my um, my Alexa into these as well. So yes. That is also something that you would need is a converter, okay? Now, let's get to the stuff that people have been asking me for, okay, that I have purchased. I do not have them out because I don't need them. They are still packed up, but I will definitely put a picture right here so that you can see what it looks like, okay? Now, the links will all be in the description now, when you click on it and if you purchase, I get a small thank you from Amazon for referring that item to you. So I appreciate it. Let me say thank you in advance if you decide to purchase from my link. But let's get to it. All right. These are my excited things. I didn't get to use it, but I was so excited to purchase them because I'm like, oh my God, my life is going to be easy in Ghana. But didn't need it and my life is still good in Ghana. All right. So what you would need is a portable fan. Okay, now I have both. You have the portable fan, and that one is just a regular portable fan. You will recharge it, so when the lights is on, you always try and keep it um, plugged in, and it will be fine, and it will, be, it will recharge. When you see the lights out, you can use it, and it lasts up to eight hours, okay? So that is really, really good. I don't have it out because I thought I didn't need it, which I really don't need it, but if you saw my video where my lights was out and I woke up sweating, I needed it then. I needed it then. But it's okay. So you need a portable rechargeable fan. As well as that, I also purchased the solar portable fan, which you wouldn't need to plug it in anywhere. You can just put it outside and the sun will recharge, will charge it up for you and then you can use it. Now, both of these comes where it comes with a USB port and a plug, a universal plug where you can use it to plug your items in, things that's important to you. You can plug them in as well. So that is a good thing. So definitely the solar portable fan or the rechargeable fan. Either one of them is fine. I think the solar one is a little bit more expensive, but again, all the links will be below, okay? Now, the next thing will be the portable shower pump. Picture will be here. So the portable shower pump is basically just a shower. It's like a little um, a long uh, cord and it has a cipher at the bottom of it. You drop it inside a bucket of water and then you can shower, okay? So that's also something that I purchased and I bought it just in case, you know, depending on where I'm able to find a place to live. So. I have a portable shower pump. The next thing is going to be a portable hot water tank. Picture right here. Now, the, the solar hot water tank is basically a bag, okay? And you put the water inside of it. And if you sit it outside or near a window or anything like that, the sun will make it hot and you can use it to take a shower. These items are for emergency purposes, okay? For emergency purposes, or if that's something that you need to use on a regular basis, that's a backup for you, okay? So you have a solar hot water tank. Another one would be the portable shower water tank, and that's the one I was saying in my previous video, the solar, um, not the solar, I'm sorry, the portable shower water tank. Now, the portable shower water tank is a big old bucket and it holds up to five gallons of water. Now, they have some that holds 10. It all depends on what you're looking for. It's just a big old tank and it has its own spray and everything to use to take a shower as well. Okay, so you will also use that along with whatever anything else. So let's say you are married then you can have this one and then you just drop the portable shower pump inside of that bucket. It's not a bucket, but it's hard to really describe it, but you'll see the picture. I definitely put the picture up. So um, you just put it inside there and both of you guys can shower at the same time. So that is something that I think is just, I like that. 
So I don't have to keep fetching water all the time. You know, I just use it for whatever I need, whenever I need to take a shower and it can sit inside the shower or it can sit outside of the shower. So any way you feel, you can use this, okay? Another thing um, I'm going to say is the water pump heater, okay? I put a picture right here. If I can find it, let me tell you, it was hard to find. I don't even think Amazon sells it anymore because when I went into my shopping cart and I click on it, it came up that it wasn't there. You know, it says choose another item or similar item. So, but I'll put a picture of what I purchased right here. Okay. Now this is a plug-in. You plug it in and it hot, heats the water up while you're taking a shower. So if you have lights, but your water's not working, then you can just plug it in and you can drop it inside and it'll warm your water up for you. I like that as well. So that is something that you can purchase as well on Amazon. Again, I have to say this as I was told, this is a paid link. So whenever you purchase anything from any of these links, I will get a small thank you for purchasing for any of these items, okay? Um, the next one is going to be the portable lantern now um i'm trying to see if i have one out i can't remember i remember taking one out i know i gave one to my gate boy so he can have one so i probably should ask him to see his but you'll see the picture as again so basically this is battery and rechargeable okay so you will if lights is out all you have to do is open it up. It is so bright. Oh my God, it's so bright. And you just open it up and you will have lights. It's also an SOS. So you click the button and it'll turn into SOS. So if you're somewhere stranded on the side of the road and it's dark, you can stick it outside and it will blink. So people will know that there's a car in front or, you know, to know to slow down. Okay. And that's what I like about it. As well as it's a flashlight. I just love it. It's a flashlight. So you'll be able to, you know, use it as a flashlight. You know what? A matter of fact, let me see if I can ask him to borrow his so that I can demonstrate to you all of the things that it does. Okay? Stay tuned. Okay, battles. I know this is extreme, but I wanted to show you guys what this lantern could do. Now, yes, there's still some lights back here, but um, it's still daylight here. So I wanted to show you guys how bright it gets so this is as dark as i can make it but this is the lantern and look how bright okay so it does this and you can recharge it as well as you can use battery okay so you'll close it and if you need to have a flashlight then you can turn it into a flashlight let me do that for you real quick this is a flashlight. I want you to look to see how bright this gets as a flashlight. It also does as an SOS. So this is what the Latin do. So it's a portable Latin. So I have it for, I have several of them. Okay, guys. So that is the portable Latin that I was telling you guys. And this is what it looks like. Okay. So this is like, I want to say, it's not bad. I like it. You also have the converter, okay? The converter that you would buy for your things like curling iron and stuff like that. So this is the converter, okay? So it's multiple. They have different ones that you can use. Let me see if I can open this one up. Mm. Let me see. Uh, I think my nail is not allowing me to do it because I um, don't think my nail is allowing me to do it. Let's see. Yeah, my nail won't. There we go. So you have different options, you know, different options. Okay, so you'll plug this in and you can use this. And I use this for my i use this one for my tvs as well as for my um i'm lying i'm sorry 
I do not use this for my TV. I use this for my uh, microwave. I use this for my blow dryer. I use this for my curling iron. I, this is what I use it for. And I just alternate. So I didn't bought a bunch of these. I literally only bought three. So I don't keep my microwave just running because that's energy. So whenever I'm done using it, I just plug it out and I'll put this back inside my bathroom because I use my curling iron or my blow dryer, stuff like that more um, than I do because I do wear my wigs. <laughs> So I definitely do that. And then, um, so I alternate the three throughout the house. So this is what I use this for. For now, for my TV, you definitely need a step down. You need a step down for your TV and you need a step down for your fridge. And that's gonna be a different video on all the on things you need for your appliances, okay? This is just um, the things that you need to move to buy before you get here so that you can be okay, all right? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this small, short video, nice and sweet. <laughs> I just wanted to give you guys all the things that you need for you to be able to come here in Ghana. Like I always tell you guys, succeed is what I'm looking for. So what's for you, no one can take away, not even yourself. So until next time, bye. Thank you.